one question. Is there anything else to come before us today? <laughs> yes. Last, but certainly not least. <laughs> I want to take this young lady sitting here. She's my lovely wedded wife. Steve. We will now bring up Reverend Steve Atkins to perform the wedding ceremony. You all don't mind, do you? No. no. <laughs> Beloved friends, we have come here in the presence of God to witness these two in a holy union, Michael Allen Dunaway and Mary Ann Delma in the bonds of holy matrimony. Marriage is an honorable state and the institution of the home is the most important base of civilization. Our friends here have made their choice and stand before us that women may all witness what they are about to do. Therefore, if any can show just cause why this union should not be made, please speak now or forever. <laughs> 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 Marriage is the most momentous event in both life of man and woman. On it depends the happiness or misery of their future. It is a union of souls. Carefully then should the inducement be made before taking this final step, that the contracting parties may be impelled by love and love alone. Because the union of hearts, not of hands, constitutes true marriage. Marital love is natural and necessary for the perfection of life. You who are about to enter into this union must not forget that it has duties as well as happiness. New responsibilities will come upon you once this step is taken. Be sure that you are in the fittest state to meet these new responsibilities that will keep you from making the journey that so ill-assorted and ill-regulated unions end up making. The golden rule in marriage is mutual forbearance. We must never forget that no alliance, how well designed, can ever secure perfect contentment. We urge each not to be the first by whom the first harsh word is spoken, nor the last to offer the hand of reconciliation. It is fervently hoped that you will prove to be suitable companions through now and through all of eternity, as we are binding you not just here and now, but through eternity. Michael Allen Dunaway, cherish and conserve the sacredness of the home. Make it the altar upon which you worship, and be sure that domestic bliss is within the reach of all within. It is one alone by manly yet considerate treatment of the one whom you will return your affection with boundless love. And Marianne, now that you've won a loving heart, guard it with zealous care. Nor, never let the storms of anger arise and wither the affection with its fiery breath. Never forget that love, unaccompanied by true companionship, soon droops under the chilling influence of uncongeniality of mind. To you both, let, let live when the evening of marriage arrives and the end of the days comes, you may exclaim like the poet, not another joy like this in all the world exists. I charge you both that you shall answer to God that either if you know any reason why you should not lawfully be joined in matrimony, you acknowledge it now. Last chance. <laughs> See, <little> baby. <laughs> I'd like you to repeat after me, Al. I, Michael Allen Dunaway. I, Michael Allen Dunaway. Take thee, Mary Ann Delmo. Take thee. Mary Ann Delno. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my, lawf my lawfully wedded wife. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and cherish. 
to love and cherish. From this day forth. From this day forth. And Mary Ann, I'd like you to repeat after me. I'm Mary Ann Delno. I'm Mary Ann Delno. Take thee, Michael Allen Dunaway. Take thee, Michael Allen Dunaway. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love, honor, and cherish from this to day forward. To love, honor, and cherish to this day forward. And you have a ring. The ring is the symbol of congenial and <coughs> conjugal union. It's endless and it's an eternity. May this circle ever remind you of your sacred union from this day forth. Eternal Spirit, we pray that this ring shall bless the wearer, honor the giver, that these two shall become one in the flesh and in the Spirit, and shall live together in perfect peace. Amen. Michael Allen Dunaway, please repeat after me. Mary Ann Delno, with this ring I thee wed. Mary Ann Delno, <clears throat> with this ring I thee wed. For as much as Michael Allen Dunaway and Mary Ann Delno have pledged their mutual vows, have given and received the ring as a symbol of the, of the same, I hereby, by the authority vested in me as a spiritualist minister, in accordance with this state, do pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. I now present to you for the first time in public, Mary Ann Dunaway and Michael Allen Dunaway. 